One of the best aspects of doing separation anxiety training is working on the calmness and the settle aspect of dog training. Now, I've got four labradoodles here to work with, which makes it more exciting, or at least challenging for me. But we're going to te basically teach you how to do a nice, straightforward settle. Now, firstly, one way is to wait for the dog's actually lying down naturally. So if the dog was lying down naturally, you might then go and give them a little treat. You might praise them, say good or good girl. And perhaps give a few more treats, just encourage them just to lie down nice and calmly where they are in the evening. That can work. But I'm doing it now in the daytime with slightly more active dogs and trying to teach them to settle and lie down on a little mat here. And firstly, you'd normally lower the dog over towards the mat with a little treat. I'll do it with Izzy. Good girl. I'm just marking her for sitting on the mat at first. Then I'd lower into a down. Just treat next to her nose, then directly down towards the ground. Good. Then leave the treat directly on the bed. Then just give her perhaps one, two more treats. As long as she stays there, you can keep rewarding her just before she's about to move. And she started to put more and more treats down, start to say the word settle as the treat gets on the ground. Settle. 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 The next stage would be to move about, just move a little bit away from her, and then still dropping treats directly back onto the mat, hoping she'll stay there in one position. If she moves, you go back to stage one and get her back lying down on the mat. The idea here is we're teaching both calmness and a little bit of separation. So we can move about, hopefully, and she'll stay there where she is on the mat. If she stays, you can. You reward that. If she moves like she's then, you get her back into a down. Good. And then stay settled. We have to take this in baby steps, bite sized portions. Then you start to move about. Again, taking it very slowly. You can gradually start to move further and further away from the dog. But keep rewarding again the treats back onto the mat. Gradually start to build up distance, moving further and further away. I've got Zara here helping at the same time. Thank you guys.